What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dota Wall. Let's play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, um, we've made some good progress in the Caribbean. Uh, but there is a Spanish army that's attempting to invade our territories. So we're going to sail our vastly superior fleet out to destroy them. So let's begin. We will be trying to bring the fifth rates into our service. Because in this fleet, we could do with a few more numbers and fifth rates aren't entirely terrible. Uh, so... We will try and take them if we can. But we do have a significantly more firepower than the enemy fleet. So let's form up something like that. So yeah, the enemies are a largely fifth rate fleet with a couple of those taking a few hits. We will not be interested in the brig. The brig will... Uh, I'm afraid be lost. <laughs> Actually, I don't think it's going to take, take too long to get into the action either. Whereas my glorious second rate ships of the line 86 guns, 275 men aboard, they see the enemy fleet. So, I mean, this is what you want to kind of think about is that back in the old days, it's easy for me to kind of try and time how all this works, knowing exactly where the wind is, right, knowing exactly where the ships are going to be. Whereas back in the day, having to do all that from uh, maps, compasses, charts, and just kind of a bit of a feeling of the gut. Of going, yeah, you know what, this is what we should do. Oh, just a second, guys. Apologies, a bit of a tickly throat there. But there we go, now the enemy fleet is starting to double back on itself. So we will continue to push forward with our ships, but uh, actually I might even take the back half of my fleet and sail them like so. Something like that. Just keep sailing in close. Whereas these guys try and get a bit of a flank going on. I don't mind if these guys take damage. Uh, this is the... This is a suitable... Well, this is a suitable uh, thing for them to do. With a reasonable expectation of uh, going back to port afterwards, I think. Third rates. Well, you guys might actually pivot to continue the fire. Because these guys were, were in danger about pacing my second and beating them on station, so... Uh, same as my fifth rates here. Oh no, sorry, these are all... Okay, yeah, my fourth rates are going to outpace my thirds to get on station, which is completely fine. Second rate boy, another one into San Miguel. Third rate's actually slightly the wrong angle. Fourth rates. Let's give them an order just to cut directly across their fleet. The third rate could just start to engage from here. My seconds keep pushing. My thirds are still engaging the enemy quite well enough. But we do need to close the distance. can't sail directly towards them because then we'll be completely in into the wind and that's just a bit of a pain in the backside so you may pivot but then drop anchor because that's quite a reasonable field of fire so the fourth rate is going to be blasting chain shot so you want to start taking out some sails and some masts because right now lots of these ships could try and outpace us 
two ships. Full sail. Let's take you off the task. Starting to sail a bit more into the wind. Not we hit a guy off of the rigging. There you go. Four masters down. Keep sailing forward. There you go. My heavy hitters are still a good firing position, but now my lighter, more agile ships are able to try and get a bit of cheeky positioning going on. The mizzen's gone. San Miguel is surrendered. Starting a bit of a breakout towards us. So you guys are going to switch to chain. We're ready to face off against Santiago. More chain shot fire against Castilla. Fire your guns into Santiago. Because again, it does just come down to the fact that they are a lot faster than us. We can't really afford to let them get away because they do have an enemy army on board. But by knocking out masts, we do start to... Oops. We do start to even the odds somewhat. Or we... There you go. I think that's two of their fifth rates that are now no longer able to flee. You have to sail more directly into the wind, so your progress will be slow. You're going to fire broadsides, you're going to keep firing chain. So these guys are aware of what's going on. You're going to have to make full speed to chase these guys down. Uh, wrong orders completely. You try and see if you can turn ahead of these fifth rates. See if you can knock out any of their sails, any of their masts. Surrendered, that's a good outcome. Firing shots into the brig, the fifth rate surrendered. Rig is. You can fly around shot now. This is the important one, it's the last fifth rate that could attempt to actually escape. Come on, I need masts down. The mizzen. Perfect. Excellent. Routing. Surrendered. Oh, just the tippity top of the... Tippity top. Technical term. Is that where the, where the four to gallants are, held, are hosted? But there we go. That is the Spanish squadron destroyed. Which is good news for us. So... Select them all. Yes, 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 no. Bye bye, all you men are either dead or imprisoned. So you men make for 
San Juan, because you can't make the Liagane anyway. So it's going to be next turn. Liagane, Lea Leo Gain. Uh, let's upgrade the trade port. Let's upgrade the government building in Port Royal. I mean, upgrading the government, bu governor's building is important, not just for oppression, but it increased the tax rate. So you, it's a very quick win to get more income. We're not going to build anything here because it's likely to get raided by the Cherokee. Can't yet recruit reinforcements either. I suppose I don't want to recruit. Uh, maybe not both these bows. And instead try and recruit an ordnance factory so I can get 12 pounders. Grenadiers would be useful, but let's get the ball rolling on 12 pounders. Good stuff. We've done all the fleet stuff. All these auto recruits are now going to, well, where my my uh, fourth rates can bravely come back out to sea. Good. Let's hit enter. Although my <laughs> one of the fifth rates orders didn't change in time. The Spanish, the Swedish have been repulsed from the Dutch, or by the Dutch. Portugal, uh, the Ottomans are still figuring about what to do, because the Austrians are now the power in Central Europe. Let's not say all of Europe, because uh, we are kind of involved still. Thirteen colonies want peace. They're not going to get it. Louisiana is going to declare on us. Very well. So we want to build our uh, New Mexico army. That could get quite dicey if they all go for if all of the Cherokee go for us. That could get a bit problematic. Trade agreement with Louisiana cancelled. Can we seek trade with anyone else? No. Government council, new roads. I mean, well, I, I like going for government councils because that is the final step, I suppose, in the um, in the build queue for a government building. So it means that once they're done, they're done. Like Nassau. Still recruiting. Build better roads. Assuming going to the dry dock. Upgrade the dry dock to a naval hospital. I'm not overly bothered about having steamships in the Caribbean just yet. Larger ships would be good. Probably don't need two naval hospitals. Yeah, if they go after us, that they could kill us all. So let's recruit some reinforcements. Boston's recruiting. I mean, really, I do want the drill school. Let's get another colonial dragoon unit. Get another colonial light unit. Upgrade the church school. Keep the infrastructure rolling. I suppose I can I'll keep building another infantry unit to hold on. Uh, hmm. Upgrade the roads, the ports are being upgraded. Upgrade the cloth mill, upgrade the commercial basin, upgrade the roads. So, Mexico. I can't recruit any more grenadiers. You're probably going to need a military academy, although that doesn't really add much except cavalry options. But I'll take it. Same with the great arsenal. Can't recruit any more frontiersmen either. Very well. Recruit two more artillerymen. Recruit a colonial light two more line infantry because you can push 
Santa Fe. You could potentially loop around and go for Upper Louisiana. But this is a bit dicey. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted just to pull out. Uh, which I actually I am going to actually pull out of Louisiana because if I keep my force intact, that's a lot of Cherokee. And instead, deposit you guys here so we can take Texas and push Louisiana from the west. I think that's the better idea because on Louisiana you're a bit isolated. Well, on Fl in Florida you're rather isolated, so let's do that. You're still. We're going to be. We're going to fight the garrison here at Albany anyway, but I do just want to kind of build up my second army. You're slowly coming to terms with the fact that we're in charge. Hop back to Europe. Actually, are we. Yeah, we are still doing some good recruiting. To be honest, I may end up uh, recruiting general Duarte Martins. Start to recruit another army in Western Europe. So now you guys are going to come out of this spot and go back to East Africa because that'll open up this uh, this location for more uh, ships to spawn let's move the fifth rate over to here where you're supposed to be in terms of tech nothing on the horizon cool don't want to make peace of Poland let's see if we can come on Russia let's See anyone we're at war with that we don't need to be at war with. Let's try and prompt a Let's see if we can prompt peace. Which it doesn't look like we will be able to, but it's chiefly about <laughs> more more and more goods. Okay, let's hit N10. Britain's declared war on us. I'm gonna call my allies in because we've got a lot of overlap here. Uh, Austria refused to join my side, but everyone else said, you know what, we're going to have you. And they didn't even invade me. So we're no longer allies with Austria. We will want... Well, it means that we're effectively going to invade North Africa. So the army that we're currently building in Lisbon will be rerouted to North Africa and uh, Malta. Which does also mean that we likely want to take Morocco as well. So we'll actually we may end up invading um, over the crossing, take Morocco, and then push across North Africa to take out the British. Aha, here comes the defenders of Albany. Let's do it. We're not going to be on the defensive. We are going to advance. And I don't believe... They're going to uh, be able to stop us. So let's get to it. Pop to it, mount the guns. And so on. So my gunners are going to be up on the high ground to the rear. The range is pretty good. It covers a good chunk of their deployment zone. But ultimately, men... These colonials are throwing one last roll of the dice. They know they cannot withstand another... Barely sure I've got it set. Four turns per year, so another three months of siege. So we will advance and take the war to them. Our artillery can open up on whatever they see as a suitable target.
these men march to their death. They don't even have bayonets. They may have plug bayonets, but uh Ah uh, yes, enemy mortars. So those are gonna be your targets. So there's a the native bow auxiliary. Ooh. Direct hit on the gun then. But yes, as is tradition, uh, you do not want to expose yourself to more gunfire than is absolutely necessary. Well, how mortifier that is. We do have enemy bowmen down here, so there they are. Gun my cavalry forward. More than one unit. Okay, right. We need to hit the native bowmen. Redeploy your men like so. It's not an ideal position, but ideally I just wanted to get my infantry line set up before. There's the native warrior auxiliary. They'll be engaged first. Those guys should not be around for long. They've been really picked apart by my light infantry. My cavalry is going to go for the artillery, so my gunners engage just other battlefield targets. Okay, there we go. So now my line infantry can properly spread out. My skirmishes aren't really skirmishes, they're just very accurate line infantry. No. Ignore the ignore the militia or the colonial line. You want the gunners. Although it looks like the entire enemy formation's about to break anyway. Okay, they're shattered. Come forward and attack this native warrior unit. Nice work, skirmishers. It's only the fifth regiment that actually withstands us, the 5th Regiment and their artillery. And their artillery won't be around for long either. Demi cannons are going down. Mortar garrison are the last units to fight. Oh, some danger close artillery. The Albany garrison is doomed. Nice work. So was that five minutes? <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, Louisiana is getting ready to launch an attack. So we want our navy back to sea. Yep, we did not expect you to fight. Apologies, units. That is the best call to make, I think. We could have held on, maybe, but our army would have been quite heavily depleted. And then maybe during the next attack... Like, look at that. Look at those Württemberg units. Let's go over to Europe. These guys, look. They are massing. So you guys need another two units of artillery, and you're going to get two more units of infantry. Let's upgrade you. Okay, more recruitment. Firstly, get another first rate ship over the line. Get some second rates and then a bunch of thirds. Cool. So you've recruited a cavalry unit already. Get a carabiner. We don't... We don't need horse guard artillery for an, an army that's going to attack North Africa. Let's get two line infantry guards. Let's get a unit of guerrillas. Then in Spain itself, we're not here. Yes, we can use this infantry to bolster the army. 
And then this in this unit we're going to build two grenadier guards and two fusiliers. So ultimately, we do need another army here. So just, well, we need more. We need more ships everywhere. So if we look at Morocco. Morocco is very friendly. Protector of the Dutch. That's a bit unfortunate. But if the Swedish take take out the Dutch, then it doesn't really matter. This army needs to stay here for any contingency uh, operations we need to launch. Hey, yes, we already have a, the, the makings of another fleet. So you guys can come down to here. Alliance broken between Great Britain and the Dutch. Alliance broken between Portugal and Austria. We lost Florida, but that's okay. So the Pueblo nations. Protectorate of Georgia. Potentially a frustration, because Georgia's... I mean, they're not, they've not got a good navy, but they could blockade us and do some annoying things. So that's why I do want to keep my recruitment here strong. So this army here, you're probably going to be enough. Andre Nunho. Okay, so let's m get you guys on the march. Set you to recruit a unit of colonial dragoons. So they will chase you. Push up to Santa Fe. You men stand on the border of Texas. Good. Traits gained. Patriotic sword. One of my naval captains. And Jared Watts is a four bottle man. Minus one to morale because he's always drunk. Upgrade Boston's roads. Upgrade the port. Upgrade fur exchange. Rebuild the government chambers. Replenish my army. See, there's the there's the main force of colonial troops. Let's upgrade the fur trader. If you want to try and get more more goods to market, there is never enough. Get some of these farm upgrades. Recruit a general. Marcelino Ferreria. I suppose is how you how you may pronounce that. So in one more turn that'll be another trade fleet built. Let's go for wine estates. But yeah, so we got a good. We're building another fleet. This is a really good admiral, actually. 34. And he's a five star command at sea. Sailor for birth, from birth. Famous post captain. He's got a head for figures. So his upkeep is reduced, which is great in this big, big fleet. But yes, yeah, things like Sardinia may be vulnerable. There's a limit to what they can recruit from Valletta. Uh, Tunis is a bit different, but if we can take... If Sweden can take out Amsterdam, that would be perfect. But if not, we will land and hit Algiers, and then we'll push along the North African coast. Some cuirassiers recruited from Paris, getting down to the Lisbon army. You have to wonder now, does the Austrian rejection of our alliance mean they may be angling against us everyone else has joined us but only Austria is the one that declines curious very curious oh can the Ottomans land it oh that's really vulnerable <laughs> really really vulnerable that army could well be lost uh, next turn Interesting. Yes, I will give you carcass shot for more trade. So we're trading with so many countries right now. Yep, there we go. Oh, you, you're so lucky. You are so lucky. Oh no, they're going to chase you down. 
No, they're not. Oh. That would be a smart AI move to chase them down. Alliance broken between Austria and the Dutch, and Austria and Great Britain. But you kept their... You kept their... You broke our alliance for them. Cuba. Let's get another port. Another trade port for Cuba. Build a sloop. War declared between Ottomans and the Austrians. War declared between the Dutch and Russia. That's quite important. Go, oh, because now Prussia has a border. Wait, is Prussia at war with Sweden? That would be good to know. Yes, they are. Interesting. Fleet arrives. Just check that that's not something we can take and then raid this trade node. Perfect. Government chambers. So they've elected not to push us. But to be honest, I'm in a position now where I will like just take Montreal. Oh yeah, now Britain's at war with us. This little navy this little force here can actually be frustrating. Um but what I want to check is. Quebec's allegiances. Allied with Spain. Whoa, you are gonna get killed, matey boy. Upgrade the Ordnance Factory to a great arsenal. So that's 12 pounders we can bring into service. Let's recruit a sloop and upgrade York's port. And upgrade. Well, the roads are being upgraded. Good. Keep on upgrading. Okay. I was going to say, we should start hitting some uh, <laughs> uh, global trading companies soon. But one thing I do want to do is bring out this navy to raid the Louisianans. Uh, start to build another squadron. Okay. Trade route raided. That's us. Recruitment report across the board. It's all pretty good stuff. Now you're making your way over. I think you're pretty okay as far as recruitment's concerned. You may actually lose your burst rates over to this navy to get it even closer to standing up. Cool. Yeah, so the the, uh, the Dragoons will catch up to my advancing army. Ah, oh, Britain. Adamant retreat. Oh. Right. Okay, I don't want to fight it because it's their first raid, but see how much, see what damage we can do. They lost one of their ships. Uh, they lost another ship, so they've only got two. Yes, that's right. Take position on the trade node. Then we'll come and get you. If you've got one first rate, we can come and get you with a lot of things. Are they offering an alliance with me again? I will take the alliance because they, they have ceased to be an ally of Britain. So I can... It's in my interests to, uh, to keep them on a... Keep them on our good side. If someone could knock out the Dutch, that would be great because I don't want to. I don't want to become become at war with the Dutch. It could be in our interests, but I don't want to force people to pick sides. We've got a comfortable alliance arrangement in Europe. 
I want to keep that. <laughs> keep that nice and steady. If I can keep relations in, in Europe steady, I can continue to expand uh, in the Americas, potentially expanding against... Well, in India, that's an option. Calcutta's always... Yeah, it's funny, really. We've popped over to Calcutta. That's the one I like to take, because it's quite... It's more... It feels like it's more defensible. No, Genoa! Good. You scare them off, but will you actually kill them? Right, one. Seeing Corden's flag reminded me. Pueblo nations took Santa Fe. Curses. Tampico, New Spain. That's a big trading port. Let's recruit Sloop. Tech advances. So we've got machine tools. I'm going straight on steam engine. Yep, fair enough. And we researched classical economics and gone straight on citizenship. Yep, fair enough. Fleet destroyed. It's a very grandiose term for what it was. I cannot see the British. Very well. So, you men get over to there. You men get over to here. Roberto Fernandez. So, let's so that is a trade fleet that is recruited get over to West Africa so one two three one two three four five Okay, I think you're done as well. So you are done, so you can... Uh, also go over to West Africa. That's two new trade fleets going over there, so we can recycle two of them to come back. Portsmouth... Recruit two more trade ships. To be honest, I should bring some privateers in. Um, just because they're a bit tradey. Some good resource upgrades. 69,000 in our income. We're producing a lot of goods. Recruitment is continuing. Curse the air over. Newman also can get over to this army. Now oh, they're blocked. Okay, you don't need line infantry guards, you need more basic infantry. You can start to push over towards Cartagena. <laughs> Recruit a sloop to hold on to the city. Your recruitment's still going. So, construction report. We need steam engine to upgrade there. Jamaica's government building can be upgraded. Boston got the drill school and it doesn't help us at all. It's the military academy. It still doesn't help us. Okay, so this army could get a bit boring. Get some irregulars. One, two, three, four. Three, three spare slots. Let's get one Dragoon plus two Colonial Line. Good. So I was curious to see if these guys would do anything, and they haven't. When you guys are replenished, you're going to push up and hit Quebec, and then come back down, and then the then the northeastern front in America has actually become quite 
stable. Okay, I think we've got some cash for port or ship upgrades. Or port upgrades, rather. Yeah, just get them done. While we've got surplus cash, just upgrade to max port levels. This is frustrating. But once the Dutch are dead, then we can sweep in and take them out. So get our sloop over to Calais, who can be upgraded to a commercial port. Good. Okay, 10 turn. Okay, we need to upgrade our military buildings. Yeah, the British are gathering their strength still. Uh, the, the Dutch are holding their own against the Swedish. I didn't do what I wanted to do. That was to send my navy in northern England east to the Baltic Sea. Uh, do I want to engage your navy? Yes, I do. Because that will be a useful addition to our trade fleet. So, <laughs> this is gonna. Okay, where's my heavies? Heavy firsts up front. But this is why I wanna. Why I was so keen to have the <laughs> Straits of Gibraltar secured. Oh, they've deployed. Interesting, they've deployed at the opposite end. Yeah, War Galleon, 4th rate, 4th rate, 5th rate, 5th rate, rig. And up front, we've got 122 gun heavy first rate ship of the line. With four chase cannons ready to go. And what I'm going to do is chop the recording and bring you guys when battle is joined. So. Radio. So there are tactical implications about having my heavies up front in that it takes forever to do anything. But it appears they aren't super interested in uh, doing a huge amount of damage to us, which is terribly nice of them. But these guys are at full sail. They can engage Castilla. With chain. Should be able to do a lot of damage to their masts. You're going to slew your ship around. So you've lost the top of your maps just from round shots being fired. Oh no, you haven't. That's just how you look. My mistake. The main mast is gone. Poor old war galleon. About to rumble in the jungle. So you're going to fire a chain shot with your chasers. And then pivot. Just because these smaller ships can uh, be a bit of a pain. Some of the back of my ships might just get an order to sail straight for the rear of the enemy's positions. Do you guys probably more than that? Completely dismasted Castilla. Ah, oh, you poor galleon. You're gonna fire a chain though. I wanna make sure I get some of her masts down. Not a single Scooby. 
them's the brakes, I suppose. Look at that. Two ships with full broadsides. Ah, oh, knocking. It, it, it just clipped the top of the mast. In the mizzen. And down she goes. You slam this thing around. Use round shots so you don't take out each other's masts. This ship out front can fire round shot, no, chain shot rather. Ooh. See, look at that. Took out my ship's mast. At least she surrendered. Keep on sailing. Okay, this is exactly why you talk about wanting to uh, knock out masts, because suddenly Africa, the fourth rate, their speed really starts to come into it. Good, she surrendered. Stay at full sail. It's your first. Your first. You won't outspeed each other. But you definitely won't outspeed anyone. First straight ship of the line with no main mast. Go a bit more aggressive on the manoeuvring. Maybe keep the second rate at two thirds. But just keep blasting with chain. We can take a bit of damage ourselves. We can get that repaired fairly easily. But it's more about preventing these ships from getting through. The mizzen's gone on you. What can we get? Knock out on the fifth right here. Nothing. Uh, the top of the mizzen. You're surrendered though. Keep sailing forward. The main's gone. Good. Yeah, you may also fire chain. I mean, this poor brig may find itself being fired upon with chain, but it does look like looks like she will escape. You're not withdrawing, you're just sailing away, which is different. So you pivot to get your guns onto Africa. You pivot to try and get some shots in at least into the brig. Receiving some return fire. Poor old brig, though. You got nowhere to run. But at least Africa. Well, they're going to take the fire from every ship in the fleet that's currently not got a. that isn't trying to pursue. The second race is actually going quite slow.
Yeah, they're actually putting some shots into the stern on a heavy first rate. Fair play, Africa. The main thing is going to be to try to get after that fifth rate. What's on fire? Something's on fire. Heavy first rate. Fire it will off. So, drop anchor, so you just keep engaging Africa, you've got your, your, your chasers have got chains, so you might be able to put the odd shot into the enemy masts. Let's just give everyone an order to try and pursue the fifth rate. Ultimately, Africa, the fourth rate, is a bit sad looking. Let's speed up time, because ultimately, Africa's only a matter of time with all that fire against her. It's all going to be about trying to chase down the fifth rate. You try try get ahead of her. Although you're the slow one. Let's try to get you to turn. Fire off your guns. There goes a mizzen. You may actually fire yeah, you are firing round shot. Turn the ship the other way. Bring your other guns to bear. Boom, 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 boom. There goes the mainmast. Now she's unhappy because she's suddenly in the maelstrom. She's also routing, but we are going to continue. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Everyone unload. She's still trying to go for it. If she keeps coming, you're going to fire a chain and knock out her last man. I'm going to say, how long can she put up with such punishment? Galleon for fifth. Don't want the brig. That's what we like to see. No possible avenue of escape for the Spanish dogs. And that's right, bring your agents over to my territory. We are Catholic nations also. Oh, the Ottomans are going to land again. Okay, they are. They have actually landed now and they've raided the Vienna's, raided Vienna's port as well as Croatia's port. So what's Sweden going to do? Because the Dutch are now starting to blockade the Swedish territory. They're gathering their strength. Ultimately, I want Sweden to win. Uh, 13 colonies still after peace, which they're not going to get. To be honest, actually, I, I could probably just attack the Pueblo nations and say, well, the, Dane, the uh, Dutch don't have many allies because everyone's already at war with them. We're allied with them, and it means they're not going to interfere with us. But if they want to interfere with us in Europe, they can because uh, we've got a good force right here. I may supplement that with force that can hold this bridge. So, we've got some new towns. San Jose de David in Panama. Craft workshop. 
New town emerges, Bathurst. Okay, Smiths. So this army's doing quite well. One more turn to this at full strength. Upgrade the seminary and upgrade the farm. We do want to push and attack this 13 colonies concentration. Upgrade the port. Let's take a sloop over to there. Excellent. Metal roads in a lot of places. Watch pug. Aha. Albany gets metal roads and Montreal can have cardboard roads. Upgrade the fur market. Good. More goods for the trade empire. Fleet arrives. Excellent. So you take the position of the guard fleet. And the guard fleet just kind of sits back here to raid to earn its own income to help support itself. I imagine we can't take either of these. Nope. So. Recruitment report. That's the start of the new squadron. Something like that's probably quite reasonable. So we want you guys to hop into there. You men push over to Cartagena. So you will soon push against the hated British. This fleet. Like I said, we don't want these guys in our battle fleet. Uh, you go to Porto. Oh no, not you. The Navy. No, actually you guys go up to um, Brest. Then you men can be repaired. Excellent. Let's drop some upgrades on British economic structures. So the Quebec, Quebec are here, indifferent, we're not even trading with them, they're out over Spain, cool, right, so let's take, well we're going to siege them this turn, declare war, don't call any of my allies, well actually you might just attack them because, looking at the timer, it's actually quite a good time to end, so thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time where we attack the city of Quebec and secure the uh, pretty much all of northern Canada except for the Inuit. Uh, they will soon die. However, our next target are the Quebec Quebecians. <laughs> all right. See you, everyone. Mm -hmm.